Welcome everybody, Eddie the Madman Mancuso here. I've moved to Logan, West Virginia. I thought I'd make a nice little video for you. They're getting ready to open a new four lane. They call it the Road to Nowhere, Route 119. Actually, this is gonna be Route 10. Forgive me, I'm pretty confused. And as you can see, I'm in the big metropolis that is Logan. Hopefully they'll be replacing this bridge soon. It's very, very, very bad. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't be afraid to subscribe. I got some other videos coming up. Appreciate you being here. It's a beautiful day, the day of the eclipse. This is my fuzz buster going off. August 21st, 2017. Now the rumor is the road's going to be open tomorrow, the new big road. So in the southern coal fields of West Virginia, there's a lot of uh, commercial vehicle traffic, coal trucks, very dangerous. If, you, uh, if you're from Flatland and you come down here, make sure you're careful because it's a different kind of drive. And not only that, the roads are, they don't have the money that the bigger cities have or the bigger states rather. West Virginia is among one of the poorest states in the nation. I think we're second to last. But I'll have to look that up. So we're coming up to where this is going to be how you get on the four lane. You'll probably see it right now here. I got the lines painted. I seen them putting the signs up, the you know the finishing touches on the signs last week. Looks like it's swept and clean. Like I said, they're supposed to uh, have it open tomorrow, or excuse me, Wednesday. So that'll be the 23rd. We'll see if that happens. So, this is how everybody's been doing it for a long time. Can't imagine what this looked like back in the day, like way back in the day. Probably just a trail. It's 10 after 3 on a Monday. Probably a few people coming home from work. You guys, don't be afraid to comment on this video. It's killing me, I can't have my stereo on. I usually roll with my cues. So we're coming up to Morrison's. You guys are familiar with the area. It's uh, very famous for their onion rings. They got a killer fish sandwich too. I like the fish sandwich. But good hot dogs, just good old home cooked food. They got a good chili sauce. And they still have curb service. That means you just park and they bring the tray out like they did back in the old days. You can Google that. Pretty sure it's still family owned. There that went. We're in Stallings, West Virginia now. We're coming into Stallings, I believe. It's going to be really good for the area because they've opened uh, the famous Hatfield McCoy Trails. It's the second largest trail system in the country. It's soon to be the biggest in the country. I I heard a rumor. West Virginia is known for its rumors. They love to talk. Can't talk about you in my experience. As you can see, very congested. Man, it gets narrower as we go. I think this video will have quite a few hits. Not in the beginning, but probably when I'm dead. <laughs> but you never know when that's going to happen. This is a pretty funky intersection.
see it's really inconvenient because we're in coal country. They bring a, tons and tons of coal out on rail. So as you see, this is a, that was a rail station back there, trestle. You get stopped here. It's very inconvenient too, you, you never know. Cross it, I think twice more if I remember correctly. I've lived here a year, I should know. favorite is when like say the guy in front of me was going to turn right not in the big city anymore so nobody's really in a hurry they're liable to stop at any moment no warning to talk to their buddy but the, like, the guy in front of you stops puts his right signal on and he'll just come to a dead stop if somebody's trying to come out so they'll let him out that's how they do it here in the country it took a little bit of getting used to but i don't mind it so much it's a lot better than living in the rat race So there's the big road, the four lane, up on the hill to the right. I've been working on it for many, many, many years. Been quite a few wrecks right here. So here's the second time we go over the tracks. And now we're at a three mile curve, which is a lot more dangerous to drive than it used to be. They used to keep the vegetation cut back on the right hand side, the trees and such. They don't do that anymore. So you actually used to be able to pass legally. But you can't do that now. Really bad for deer at night. And like I said, I can't stress enough, if you're not from this area, if you're from out of state coming down here to ride the trails or just driving through, especially if you're on two wheels, you really, really need to pay attention. Very dangerous. For instance, uh, there's some of these curves, they never get sunlight. So there's moss that grows on the asphalt. Now, the locals know about that because they've lived here so long. But if it starts raining, those curves are slick as ice. So, again, I can't stress how cautious you need to be. somebody that wants to do 30 miles an hour you're going to do 30 miles an hour unless you want to risk your life to get around them, which I do not recommend Set of train tracks. Here we go for the third time. I see they're slowing down up here. This is probably the worst section that's left. Very dangerous. There's quite a few accidents here. The commercial drivers coming northbound, coming at us pay attention to the, the rock face they if they stay in their lane they're going to hit the rock so they have to come into your lane of course like I said the locals are aware of that if you're from out of town you're not aware of that you 
trying to follow traffic rules like you do in the city. See, just like this right here. When two commercial vehicles are passing, that's the worst. It's going to save a whole lot of time and I'll be making another video of the four lane once it's open so check for that of course if you subscribe to this one you'll automatically get an email so don't be afraid to subscribe you guys I if you've been with me a long time you know that I used to broadcast on twitch uh, you know all about me, my disease and whatnot. I've got treatment. I'm doing a lot better, so I'm a, a little more active than I used to be. I will be back on the Xbox. We'll be doing some Minecraft this fall. So look me up on Twitch. Go ahead and follow me there. Once I start doing that again, you can be right there. At the, what's the other one? The Microsoft one, Veeam. Kind of like that one as well. I'm thinking about just transitioning with see the, the lines are even smeared it's just I can't this is not even a full-size car and I'm just barely within the lines as you can see the hill is falling in up here that's what these signs are about sliding off the mountain hey, look at that This is so bad they had to put up cones and you can see the yield sign. So now we're in Liber. It's the last little stretch of the old road. cable for my GoPro that for my four-wheeler videos, my ATV, side-by-side, side, whatever. I have a Yamaha Rhino. I made a few off-road videos, so finally got that in stock. Now I lost the clamp to the camera, so I should be making some more of those before it gets too cold.
this is the last little stretch that hooks back up to the four lane here. You guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. Don't be afraid to get over to Beam. Follow me there. Follow me Twitch. I'm on Twitter. You can find me everywhere. I'm Eddie the Madman Mancuso. I really appreciate you being here. Appreciate any positive comments or feedback you can give. Feel free to email me. I answer all of them. Sometimes it takes me a while. Looks like they're painting new lines. So I'm thinking it will be open tomorrow. Yep, and they're doing stuff to the right over here. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching.